Right. Gone are the days when we used to write regexes and programming uh, scripts in order to pass this uh, uh, data. I think uh, it's time we just uh, jump directly into the fun part and start doing what we are supposed to be doing. Welcome to episode one of AI Can Do What Now? Security Edition, which is a new series where we talk everything AI and security. My name is Lisa Jones Huff. I am your host du jour. And my guest for today is Anas. And he's going to be talking about a very cool topic. Anas, why don't you talk about the topic you're going to be covering today? Thank you for having me today, Lisa. Uh, let me just say that I'm really excited to be here and discuss this one topic uh, that really uh, hit close to home. Uh, data onboarding has been an ongoing challenge uh, for, for some time now. I have seen numerous analysts being victim of uh, data onboarding. They have been spending so much time in onboarding the data that sometimes they even forget the actual work that they're supposed to be doing. And with the invent of AI, things are changing, right? And they're changing quite fast in a more, more powerful way. So, yeah. So that sounds great. Um, you know, as you know, Anasi and I have known each other for a little over a year now. You know, I've been doing sim for, since the war, and that means it's been a very long time. So I've seen exactly what you've dealt with. And, you know, data onboarding could be a very manual process and, and very frustrating process. So talk a little bit about some of those frustrations that, that, that you've seen in the past. So data onboarding before the uh, invent of AI has always been manual process, right? We are dealing with data uh, from, you know, from various aspects. So they come in different flavors, structure, unstructured, and they all have their own speaking language. But when we do security analytics, uh, you know, it's very difficult for our analysts to basically go ahead and uh, uh, do threat hunting across these different languages. So we need the data to be parsed, to be filtered, to be enriched, so that you know the analysts won't go ahead and remember each and every schema uh, for different technologies. So it has always been uh, a problem and manual process uh, since ages. No, but that, that makes sense in us. Now, we, there's two different things to consider. There is data that the vendor supports versus something that's net new that no vendor has has even seen before. So that makes it even harder. Is that a fair statement? Oh, it tr truly is. I, I believe that you know no vendor will give you complete support of all the technologies, right? There will always be in-house applications, uh, these third-party applications that you won't find support in your existing security solutions. And that's when uh, you will go ahead and start building the parsers or integrators for them. And um, you know it has been time consuming, as I said earlier. P people spend days uh, writing regex and uh, programming scripts to onboard this data. But I think those days are long back, you know, with AI, uh, as I said, things are changing fast. We can take help of AI to onboard this data very, very quickly. No, that makes perfect sense. So let's dig into that a little bit more. You know, how is AI really going to change? Because again, data is the centerpiece of, of any logging platform, analytics platform. Definitely. So from your perspective, how is AI going to help the cause? So, you know, Gen AI is, is really uh, modernizing everything around us. And it's time that we adapt Gen AI into our security operation centers as well. And uh, what Gen AI can do for us is look at the sample events of this unsupported technology and just go through the structure, understand uh, how you know the logs are written, and then basically extract these logs for us, normalize these logs into you know whatever technology that we are using, enrich the logs if needed, and then build that parsers for us in minutes uh, instead of days. Right. So that's what AI uh, can do and uh, has been doing for some time now. Now, Anas, does it matter the format of the log, whether it's JSON or CSV or a flat text file? Can AI take into account all of those different formats that a, that a customer may have in their environment? Well, that is the beauty and magic, I would say, of AI, right? It doesn't really matter what uh, format that we are pushing towards the large language module. Um, it will, you don't even have to mention in, in many ways. You just insert the data, the LLM will take care of the structure, it will understand it, and then it will build the passes for you. So to answer your question, do we really have to care about the format? No, we don't have to. Now, if a customer is, is new to AI, Anas, and per perhaps maybe new to Elastic, what do they need to consider with regards to large language models and, and understanding AI? 
I mean, when it comes to elastic, is that something that you have to really worry about? Can I just bring my logs? You guys are going to take care of it? Look, at, at elastic, first of all, as I said, we take um, the AI uh, not only as a burst term, we are very, very bullish uh, on it. And we really think that AI can solve a lot of challenges that our industry has been facing for quite some time now. And uh, no, you don't really have to worry about uh, your, the, the way the data is being handled. Elastic is built with security in mind. We do understand that there are challenges uh, does exist and you have a lot of, let's say, compliance that you have to follow. And we right. have built this workflows or security around each and every tool that we have built over AI, uh, which can uh, help you achieve those compliance and make sure that, you know, uh, your data is being handled in, a, in an efficient way, basically. Okay. No, and you bring up efficiency. You know, everyone throws out the word operational efficiency all the time, right? So why is it so important to get this part right in terms of getting the data in the platform from your perspective? Look, um, I think data it, onboarding is really the first stage uh, for many doors that it can open for you. So dashboarding, visualization, uh, det detection engineering that you're going to do, threat hunting, or even custom queries that you're going to make is going to be based on the data that you're ingesting. So it's very, very important for us that we ingest the data in a right way. And we make sure that data is enriched with the right information. Uh, because, you know, you once you ingest the data, uh, you're going to use it. Yeah. No, makes sense. So to summarize everything, basically what you're saying is, is AI is going to make me a lot more operationally efficient allow me to bring in whatever data types that I've made investments in as quickly as humanly possible so I can get to the fun part. Is that a fair statement? You're absolutely right. Gone are the days when we used to write regexes and programming uh, scripts in order to pass this uh, uh, data. I think uh, it's time we just uh, jump directly into the fun part and start doing what we are supposed to be doing, which is threat hunting. You just said regex and I just got a chill. Okay, la, 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 la. <laughs> thank you, Anas. This was a, a great series. And thank you for reiterating some of the whys about applying AI to the onboarding challenge that customers have been facing for many, many, many years. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me today, Lisa. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's a wrap. Please tune in next time and don't forget to check out all of the additional Elastic resources on this topic like workshops, tutorials, and a lot more.